Welcome to our video tour of the Starbucks Barista Home Espresso Machine. In the next couple of minutes, we're going to teach you everything you need to know to create the perfect shot of espresso and creamy steamed milk every single time so you can enjoy espresso beverages right in your own home. Our customers have asked us, how can I make the same great tasting espresso beverages like I get at the Starbucks store? In response, Starbucks designed a line of exclusive espresso machines incorporating our years of coffee making experience. What we created is the ultimate home espresso machine, the Starbucks Barista. Let's show you how the Starbucks Barista works. First, you'll need to make sure that you wipe down all of the external parts of your new machine with a warm, damp cloth and fill the water tank, all 96 ounces, with fresh cold water. Next, you're going to need some ground coffee, preferably Starbucks espresso roast. And finally, if you're going to be making a milk-based beverage like the latte, the cappuccino, or a mocha, you'll need fresh cold milk and a stainless steel frothing pitcher, preferably with a thermometer inside, so you know the temperature of the milk while steaming. Other items to have handy are a scoop, a tamper, shot glasses, and just in case you make a little bit of a mess in the kitchen, you'll need a damp cloth. When creating espresso using the new Starbucks Barista Espresso Machine, there are four key things you must do. You must prime the machine, steam the milk, prime the machine again, and brew the coffee. In other words, simply remember, prime, steam, prime, brew. We'll show you what that means. Let's prime the machine. Turn the machine on and immediately open the steam knob to dispense about half a cup of water. What you are doing is flushing out the old water and introducing fresh water into the system. Now this will ensure that when you create your shot of espresso, it will be with fresh water creating a better beverage. After dispensing about half a cup of water, turn off the water flow by closing the steam knob. Your machine is now primed. Now after priming the machine, wait for the ready light to come on. Now the ready light tells us when the machine reaches the proper temperature, and you'll notice that the light is green. Now it's green for a reason. Green means go. So do not pass go until the light is green. Now if you're making a milk-based beverage like a latte or a cappuccino or a mocha, it's very important that you steam your milk first because the milk stays warmer much longer than a single ounce of espresso. Now at Starbucks, when we prepare a shot of espresso in our stores, we never let the shot sit around for longer than 10 seconds because there's so little liquid the temperature and flavor will change quickly. So let's get the machine ready to steam. Depress the steam button, and you'll notice that the ready light goes out, which means it's not yet at the proper steaming temperature. Wait for the light to come back on before steaming. Now while we're waiting for the light to come on, fill the frothing pitcher approximately half full of very cold milk. Starting with a chilled frothing pitcher and cold milk, it will make it easier for you to create rich, creamy foam. Once the light is on, we can begin the steam. Take the frothing pitcher and place it underneath the steaming wand. Put the very tip of the steaming wand just under the milk line and open up the steam knob. What you're doing is introducing air into the milk to create the wonderful foam. Once you have the foam you desire, immerse the steam wand into the milk to continue to heat the milk. You may rest the frothing pitcher on the drip tray if you wish. Now using the thermometer, watch the temperature of the milk and stop steaming when you reach the desired temperature. Now Starbucks recommends a temperature range of 150 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Beware, milk scalds at 172 degrees Fahrenheit. Once at the proper temperature, turn the steam knob off. Pull your frothing pitcher away from the steam wand and immediately wipe the milk residue from the wand with a damp cloth. Now be careful, the steam wand is very hot. Now once the steaming process is complete, depress the steam button again to turn off the steaming mechanism. Now let's prime again. After you press the steam button off, the light is still green. But you cannot brew yet because the water is too hot. It's still positioned for steaming, not brewing. So we need to prime again. To prepare to prime, you're going to need your Reporto filter system. The Reporto filter system is a revolutionary new way to brew coffee because not only can it brew using the conventional method with ground espresso, but it can also use a new method of brewing espresso called the pod. We'll talk more about that in a minute. For now, as we prime, we're going to use the hot water inside the machine to warm up the Reporto filter system. 
Place your portafilter into the brew head, pull all the way to the right, and let it snap back into place. Place your shot glass underneath the portafilter. Depress the brew button until the green light goes out. Once the green light goes out, stop the brewing function. This procedure lowers the temperature from steaming to an appropriate brew temperature. Dispose of the water in the shot glass and remove the Reporto filter system from the machine. You will notice that the portafilter is nice and warm. One tip to ensure excellent espresso beverages is to make sure that everything is warm. Warming your portafilter and shot glasses will ensure that when you brew your espresso shot, it will be nice and hot. Now, let's brew. What we're going to do now is show you how to create the perfect shot of espresso. First, let's look at what a shot of espresso should look like. For the first shot of espresso that we're going to make, we're going to use the Reporto filter system with the ground coffee insert. We're going to use some freshly ground Starbucks espresso roast and our scoop and tamper. Here we go. Measure one scoop of Starbucks espresso and place it into the portafilter basket, tamping lightly. Place the portafilter into the brew head and move the handle all the way to the right, as far as it can go. Let go and it will automatically snap back into place. That's how you know when the Reporto filter system is properly positioned. Place the shot glass underneath the portafilter. Make sure the ready light is on and depress the brew button. Stop the brewing at the one ounce line by depressing the brew button for a second time. Looking at this shot, notice the color variations. The heart is thick and dark at the base of the shot. The body of the shot billows to the surface. The top of the shot is golden crema, full of sweetness. All of these elements are found in the perfect shot of espresso. This is what you want to be creating. It has the body and texture that you want, so when you make a latte and take your first sip, you'll say, this is the taste that I've been missing in my home espresso beverages. This is what I'm looking for. Now let's look at how to create a perfect shot of espresso in a more convenient way. Let's brew another shot of espresso using the new espresso pod. A pod is a pre-portioned and pre-tamped single dose of espresso that easily and effortlessly makes one ounce of espresso. Inside the pod is Starbucks espresso roast, but rather than deal with measuring and tamping the espresso, the pod does all the work, leaving you with a perfect shot. First, let's prepare your Reporto filter system for the pod. Begin by removing the ground espresso basket from the portafilter and replace it with both the pod insert and the pod basket. Now like we did earlier, let's use the hot water from the machine to warm the Reporto filter system. You will notice now that the portafilter is nice and warm. Now we're ready to brew. Let's show you how to use the pods. Remove the pod from the flavor sealed pack and place it in the Reporto filter system. Place the portafilter back into the brew head and move the handle all the way to the right as far as you can go, then let go. It'll automatically snap back into place. The Reporto filter system is now ready. Place the shot glass underneath the portafilter and make sure the ready light is green, then depress the brew button. Stop the brewing at the one ounce line by depressing the brew button again. What you'll notice with this shot is that it has the characteristics of a perfect shot of espresso, especially the beautiful golden crema. It's full of caramely sweetness that will allow you to create the perfect espresso beverage. Now let's make that beverage. Pour your shot of espresso into your mug and add warm milk with the foam on top. You have just created the perfect cafe latte. And now you can get right to enjoying your beverage because cleaning up after using the pods is so easy. Just remove the reporto filter system from the machine and discard the pod. There's no mess. That's how easy it is to use the Starbucks Barista home espresso machine with the revolutionary new reporto filter system for both ground espresso and pods. 
If you continue to have questions on how to use this machine, or if you have questions on which coffee or espresso to use to make your favorite drink, please give us a call at 1-800-334-5553. And, and enjoy. enjoy. Your Starbucks Barista Home Espresso Machine will bring you years of coffee enjoyment if treated properly and cleaned periodically. Brewing espresso and heating milk can cause a few problems that are easily avoidable with some simple care and cleaning procedures. We're going to focus on the three most common problems you may experience that are easily avoided by a quick cleaning. The three areas of concern are the brew head, the portafilter, and the steam wand. Let's start with the cleaning of the brew head. Before you begin with any cleaning procedure, it is essential to turn off and unplug your Starbucks Barista home espresso machine and allow it to cool thoroughly before cleaning. Once the machine is cooled to the touch, you can proceed. At least once a month, you should clean the coffee ground from the brew head using the brew head cleaning tool included with your machine. Insert the brew head cleaning tool into the brew head with the T side up. Turn the cleaning tool to the left and to the right to remove any large coffee particles from the brew head gasket. Remove the brew head tool and then take a damp kitchen towel and insert it into the same brew head area. If you don't have your brew head tool, a damp towel will work just as well. This will remove the smaller, finer coffee particles that sometimes get stuck up in the brew head. Pull the towel around this channel area. Continue to clean with the towel until there is no discoloration on the towel. Plug your machine back in, turn on the power, and depress the brew switch. The water will come through the brew head and remove any excess coffee particles. For a more advanced cleaning procedure of the brew head, consult your instruction manual. Now, let's look at the Porta filter. When cleaning the Reporto filter system, begin by removing the filter basket. Wash the Reporto filter basket with a brush. If necessary, take a small pin and poke any clogged basket holes in the filter. Place the basket back into the portafilter and then place the portafilter inside the brew head. Plug the machine back in, then turn on the power and depress the brew switch. The water will come through the portafilter and remove any excess coffee particles. Perform this cleaning process with both the pod coffee basket and pod coffee pressure insert, as well as the ground coffee basket. Be sure to hand wash all the parts of the Reporto filter system. Never place them in the dishwasher. Lastly, let's turn our attention to the steam wand. Because the heating and steaming of milk requires us to completely immerse the steam wand into the milk, many times the milk finds its way up into the steam wand. This can cause problems for the next time you wish to use the machine. Remember to clean the steam wand with a damp cloth immediately after each use. If you notice a residue buildup on the steam wand tip, or if the water flowing through the steam wand appears to be restricted, submerge the steam wand into a tall container of hot water. Allow the steam wand to soak in this hot water overnight. When coming back to the machine, clean the steam wand with a damp cloth. Then, to make sure the inside is not blocked, turn on the power and open up the steam wand. Water will come through the steam wand, removing any milk residue that may be inside. This simple preventative measure can reduce or eliminate the need for more intensive cleaning. If the stream of the water still seems to be restricted, with the machine unplugged, unfold a paper clip and carefully poke the bottom of the steam wand to see if any dried milk is still blocking the exit. If you continue to have questions in regards to these three procedures, or if you have other care and cleaning questions, please refer to the instruction manual that came with your machine or call us at 1-800-334-5553.